don't deceive me again. I didn't deceive you. I just lied to you. You told me <laughs> I guess I can see how that could be a deception. I'm going to pick up the keg. So you go and you pick up a keg. Yeah, uh, the strongest thing I can find. <laughs> you call, you, you see it, and it's called Asgrim Stout. And you see a picture of a dwarf on the top. How much? Uh, sh you sure it's the strongest stuff you can find? I think we need it, yes. Oh, is that that stuff that I bought a a bottle of earlier in the campaign? No, that's Olanzadar's uh, magnificent brew. No, I bought a bottle of something here. It's uh, from the guy selling it, sitting on a keg. That guy. I remember that guy. Where did I put that? What what is this called again? Now, Asgrim Stout. Asgrim's stout. It's, it's in. It's the person. Mm. Okay. Uh, I just have it written down as bottle I bought from a guy sitting on a keg. I'll make cheap. <laughs> That's seven hundred fifty gold. Okay. For a big keg. And then we're going to take the one more trip to the Rock of Brawl uh, with five passengers, four passengers. And then we're going to head back to Brawl's place. All right. Roll me the last... Uh, yeah. Are we still within the hour for the buff? Yep. Oh, Sendrick. You shit head. Oh, uh, I thought you rolled a 22 and then a 5 to get back. <laughs> no, 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 that was, that was one roll with advantage. Oh, right. uh, how much were we charging? We didn't tell Doc. It was between 15 and 20 average price. 15 seems fair. Alright. So are we able to find 4 arcane that will pay 15,000? You... Definitely more, do, more yes. Piece, yeah. For 15,000? Absolutely. So we make back 60,000 if you put that in the group funds, right? Oh, yeah. Right now, the group funds, I'm just keeping track of on my sheet because it's easier. But I always ask you before I spend this money, so. We're up to 256,000 gold. <laughs> Which is inside a portable hole. Inside a chest inside a portable hole. Inside a bag of holes. No. I almost said that and then I was like, no. Something about black holes and the world ending. Yeah. There, there's, uh, uh, there's hang a on, world ending? There's a gnomish gun based on that. Sounds appropriate. So now you have to roll the check to get to Rava's village. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you fuck this up. Can I intentionally fuck this up to not go to Rava's village? You bastard! No! <laughs> no, we make it there. Yeah, you make it all the way to Rava's village. Uh, what do I see? Where do we arrive? And burning. <laughs> no, we don't say that. In the middle of their their meeting time, right in front of all of them, and they start worshiping us as gods. Right. They're not stupid. They are not literate. They're stupid. All right. Give me a sec. I'll be right back again. Okay. I'd have to get ready to. Illiterate. <laughs> hey, you can give one of them your sleepy stuff. 
We don't know that. Oh, that's another item that we could have sold. No, it's my walking in tree stuff. Oh, you're attuned to both of them? Nice. So I don't know if I can. You can. Cool. I think, unless it's a one... No, yeah, because he's letting me be attuned to the, the pistol and the great axe. Mm. And if the blunderbuss requires attunement, that too. Uh, but who does want to take the uh, the blunderbusters? Three less shoot a guy. Um, how much Eleven d six. Five times a day. All right. So I'll, I'll take, one. take one. What? Uh, one the. the Oh, okay. Does Ghoul want the other one? Uh, here it is. The, it's a two-handed one, right? Yeah. Two-handed AO. You gave him the glow off. Glow off. Yeah, I have the pistol. Okay. Yeah. It can be activated five times, then it cannot be activated again for 24 hours. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. Not a bad so, so nope. you guys go to Rava's village. Yeah. And, and then I resist the urge to immediately fly off. Hey, you are, does, are, you are one of my mementos. I does, is their, does their village have like a village smart guy as opposed to a village idiot? We have a village elder. They, they, have, they have one smart guy instead of one idiot. One smart guy slowly losing his mind. They, they call him their village idiot. No, they again they're not why stupid. Am I, why am guys, I cursed to understand? Guys, guys, Rava does not reflect the whole of the but Vanari to people. To us, he does. To us, he does. We think we're going idea. back to a village of Ravas. Yeah. This is why we are all. Hesitant. This is what I'm all drunk. So, you immediately arrive in a lustrous forest filled to the brim with what appears to be uh, flowers, insects, grasses, tall, tall, long grasses, um, greens as far as you can see. And in front of you, about 60 feet, is a small wooden fence that guards what appears to be uh, a number of wooden shacks, all lined up once, one after another. They are made of straw and... Sorry, someone's just at my door. Uh, they are made of straw and twigs and mud, as well as some wood. Um, you can see immediately that there are a number of Venarin, um, which are playing and, uh, what's the word? Frolicking? Frolicking, yeah, there you go. Frolicking all around the village. You can see a one stone well directly Ooh. in the middle of the center of the town. I can try my new thing. Uh, I'm gonna jump over the fence. Okay. Uh, I will approach like, it. Jumping over a fence is a new and, and well, I got otherworldly leap, so I have to jump <laughs> I, I just imagine the thing constantly. from Hot Fuzz. I and just, just imagine going the to thing. Jump as high as I can to go over the fence. And it's only a five foot fence, so you jump. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah but I want to jump as high as hey, I possibly can. Hey, no, 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 no. I, I want. Hey. I'm I don't confused know how. about the, the jump spell. It just says it triples your jump distance. 
Yeah. I, I just wanted to be the hot fast thing, like you never jumped a fence before and he just runs straight into the fence like Bleh. <laughs> Run into the fence. No, that's Shaun of the Dead. In Hot Fuzz, that's when he actually makes makes a jump. Never mind. Oh. So, uh, while he sees kind of that happens in the corner of his eyes, he doesn't really care because he's actually finally home. It's, it's very emotional. And he wants to approach the uh, and guard. And Cindric burns the village down. Uh, we always you don't get the plus two to Dex, unfortunately. Oh, shoot. And you don't get the attack, as you said. The saving throw. Guys, oh, don't yeah, burn the village down. Uh, yeah. It's an AoE. That's why those troglodyte fish lizard people thing died so, so quickly. Is it my saving throw or the gun's saving throw? It's your saving throw. Because I don't have a gun saving throw. Right. Yay! So, uh, what oh, do, uh, does the guard say when I approach? Um, so, you approach, mm -hmm. and there are guards with what appears to be spears uh, patrolling around. They don't look too, uh, you know, worried at all. Um, but they arrive and, uh, they see Rava mm -hmm. immediately, and then they see Bogard jump over the fence, and they put their spears up towards uh, Bogard, because oh. he's jumping over the fucking fence. Uh, don't mind him, I'm, I'm Rava of Clan Vihi, and I'm here to come, I'm back from my pilgrimage, and the jumping green guy that's just my companion that I brought with me because we have stories to tell, and you should gather the clan because we have lots of stories to tell and mementos to contribute to the clan's elders. And hi, by the way. When he starts talking to the guards, I'll start walking up to Rama. Cedric is just kind of moving behind him. Yeah. Uh, so, he looks around all of you, and then he says, mm -hmm. Rava, yeah. I, it's been a long time. And uh, <laughs> you see as... <laughs> we were sure we were rid We of never you. expected yeah. you to <laughs> ever come back. We were so sure you would never return. <laughs> <laughs> you actually recognize him as uh, Tinva. Hmm? Uh a childhood friend of yours. Ooh. Timba. Uh, I have a story about Pumba. Pumba. Yeah. Timba. Uh, and he just says, um, It is good to see you again, my brother. Please, come inside. All of you. A friend of Rava's is a friend of mine. Yeah, I brought weird friends. That guy, he screams a lot in the screen. The other guy screams a lot and he's a scaly. And that's cool. He doesn't scream a lot, but he's very... Uh, Rava, uh, Rava gives people hugs a lot, right? I hug people I like. So, in Rava's culture, if he's our friend, then I should hug him. I wouldn't say that culture, <laughs> but I mean, you would know about Vanara culture from Rava. <laughs> I'm not hugging him. I, I, uh, I just says, Tinva <laughs> just says as you were coming up to hug him, um, it seems as though you haven't, uh, found a cure for that stone you took as a baby, did you, Rava? <laughs> and then... You go over and hug him, and he goes, What? What are you doing? Get off of me! Oh, uh, Bogart, he doesn't like to be touched in that, because he has hair on his arms, and you strafing against his head is very weird. So Why did you that. say that? <sighs> I always try and do the right thing when I meet new people. 
I always... You always yeah. hug everyone. That was weird. Yeah, right? I mean, Booger. Anyway, uh, please, come with me. Uh, the Elder would want to speak to you. <laughs> Robert is like, I'm sorry about my friends. <laughs> I, I, pour an, I pour a drink out of I pull the bottle I pull the bottle out of my bag and start to drink out of it okay so you guys walk in uh, and you see a rather normal tribal village I mean there's lots of people walking around with uh, baskets full of fruit there's lots of people walking around with buckets full of water um it seems as though there are hunters as well because there's a um uh do Ven venarin can eat, eat meat right that's not just a that's just a you thing right yeah i think so yeah okay yeah that's you see a stag basically uh being brought in um and yeah, you you just see a normal village. It just seems like people are regular here. I I kind of wait for Rava and Ghoul to catch up, and I just look at them dumbfounded and go, "He apologized for us." You mean Sindrik mm -hmm. and Gull? Yeah, Sindrik and he. I don't know about being here anymore. This and then he takes place. another long pull. <laughs> it's like it's like we're in the opposite. Are you sure we're on the right plane? <laughs> I can't be sure. Not not here. I'm sure we are where we intended. No, I can't. I am sure that we are in the destination we attempted to travel to. How right it is, I cannot. Mm -hmm. Well, for a penny and for a pound, walk into the village proper. Okay. You see lots of uh, twig village, of twig buildings, uh, but there is one building, uh, one small, very small tiki hut, almost, um, with a tent with cloth around it. And uh, Tinva seems to be taking you to that. Mm -hmm. um, and you can see smoke, white smoke rising up above the entirety of this uh, of the village uh, from this small tiki hut. And he brings you to them and then opens up the tent and says, Elder, uh, you cannot believe that Rava is here. And uh, the elder comes out. And you see him. He looks like Rafiki if he were a Banara. <laughs> uh, and as he walks out, you could see a big plume of smoke just rise from the inside of the, uh, the tiki hut. <laughs> uh, and he says... It is good to see you again, Rabba. Please, come inside. Take in the ceremonial herbs. Oh, I have so much to tell you. It's... I have seen the world just like you said I should, and I've brought mementos from different parts, uh, different parts of the world, different times and different people and experiences and, and even worlds. And I, I, I think my, my, my friends that they're also brought, they have also stories to tell. I have Bogart, my bestest friend of the green folks, and they, he's the best cook i ever known and haven't really eaten all of his food, but the food that I have eaten is very good. And he, he's like very good with people and stuff. And then I have Sindrik, who's like, actual dragon like we thought they were dead but he they apparently they aren't because he's here and he's like oh i'm a big dragon and that's also a big thing and we have goal who's like i can speak to gods and you know gods they are like a big deal so 
that's also a big deal. He stares at you. Yep. <laughs> the nature spirits and the ancestral spirits. They will. They have guided you to me back again. Hmm. It is good to see you again. It's good to see you. Please come inside. And by the way, Cynric can't deny that gods are a big deal. He might not like them, but they are a big deal. True. They are definitely a big deal. Rather, yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows he can't, which is why he has why it upsets him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. He's going in there, sure, of course. And uh, he's like making, uh, making preparations with his mementos and stuff like... I'm just going to go I, ahead and assume there's no way Simbrick is fitting in this tent. <laughs> <laughs> I will go inside the tent if there's room. I've also lit up my pipe and I'm smoking while drinking. Yeah, there is room for four creatures of medium size. So, uh, Bogard cannot fit, uh, not Big Bogard, uh, Sindra cannot fit in it. Mm. Yeah. But Gull and, um, everybody else, yeah, Rava, Gull, the Elder, and Bogard can all fit in it. No, oh, this is a really cool place. <laughs> I mean, he, he would, like, insist that all of you three enter and at least sit in there. All, not all of you need to talk or something, but he, like, oh, all of you should be here because you're I, telling I the look, stories. I kind of look at when I go, I won't. Then stand, I guess, or, or crouch, or fly, or lay down. Those are the things that you can do when you're not sitting. Then standing is the option. The dragon does not need to come in if he does not want to. But, but, but he's part of the story. I, I kind of look at it and I go, it's not even a matter of wanting to, it's a matter of size. Uh, you... C can you stay by, by the opening and maybe you can hear what we are saying? There we go. I, I cast... I'll cast Gash's form on Sindrick, so you could just hover no, I, inside. I was, I, was, I was about to do something that I actually can do that I've never done. Oh, okay. We'll do that. <laughs> I, I kind of look at, at Rob and I just kind of sigh and I go, If you insist, then very well. And he kind of takes a deep breath. And, Doc, I'm going to activate the other part of my dragon shape, which I've never done. You turn into... Wait. A human. You... <gasps> you do that for me, Sinric. I'm on it. It gives you basically a human form, a dragonborn form, a dragon form. And I've never used that in other, the other form. So you watch as Sindrik turns into a human, right before your very eyes. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't even know you could do that. Very well, let's, let's go inside. Yeah. pretty. It's so tiny mm. now. So, so you walk inside, uh, and there is enough room for all of you now. Um, and uh, he basically hey, says, on a picture of Cindric. That's a good picture, uh -huh. actually. That's uh, the guy from Dragon Age Inquisition. Yeah, for Cindric, that actually is probably pretty good. Yeah. It's Colin. It's got, it's got the mm -hmm. right expression as well. Yeah, like, I don't give a fuck about you, but I'm listening. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, so Cindric sits down. Uh, no, not Cindric. Uh, Rava sits down, like because I I'm imagining it like to be a circle of like people who are usually in this gathering of uh, who who are the ones who are supposed to absorb the knowledge, and mm -hmm. everyone who wants to be there can be there in this big tent thing. Yep. Yeah. So uh, he starts places all the mementos like that he has gathered in front of him. And he has, starts from the beginning like, oh, this is a lead piece with a wolf on it. It's from the city of Falkirk. It's very close by. But what you may not know is that in the city of Fal Falkirk there was a giant cave with old, old dragon mementos and old, old dragon things in it. So... And he will tell the story about how they all went down the cave and how that was an adventure. As then, you are all speaking, yeah. Uh, yeah. as you are speaking, rather, I should say, sure. uh, you see the smoke rise and begin to coalesce into these forms as he's speaking. Uh, forms of the dragon and forms of the cave and things like that as he speaks. Which is completely normal for you, Rava, because yeah. you've done this before. Um, but, I've seen it before. Yeah, you've yeah. seen it before. Yeah. Um, and he basically, as he's speaking, just sticks his hand in the in mud, in like a mud bowl, almost like a like a coconut bowl, mm -hmm. and then puts uh, puts uh, the spread on his face, the elder, mm -hmm. and then. Passes it to Bogard. What? He gives you he's giving you like a mud spread in coconut. In a coconut. Like he's. Uh, he, he wants you to rub it in your face. Yeah. Uh, insight? Um, okay. I will well, know, like, to know what, what did he do with the mud stuff? Hey, uh, he put it on his face. That like, one, and you think it's an uh, insult, and you punch him in the face. <laughs> like, <laughs> he just put okay. he smeared um, it on his face, like on the outside of his face. Uh, yeah, sure. I kind of, I kind of take the the pipe, and I kind of hold it with my teeth as as I take this this bowl from it, and I kind of take a, I set it down on my lab, and. I kind of dip my fingers into it and and I make a, a design pattern on my face. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. It feels very tingly. Uh, yeah, I make a design on my face and then I take a nice deep inhale from the pipe because this is just weird. And I pick the bowl up and I guess. Pass it. <laughs> okay. And uh, at this point, he's telling about the story about, and uh, there, <clears throat> there was an a, a dragon of old, a skeleton, and I took one of its fa uh, one of its horns, and he will place it out like this. I remember this from uh, uh, grandfather uh, Endrick, like when he told the story about a dragon that lived. Uh, up in the east, and I, I believe this was that dragon because it seemed like it because there was a cave and it was very close by, and all that. And our, our old master giant was fighting all the time. I think those are the same. And uh, I guess the ball keeps on passing around. Yeah. Uh, Sindrik, you're gonna take the ball? Yeah, he, he will basically. Realizing that although this is an annoying distraction for him, this does at least, this is important to Rava. And having had a few drinks as well, which kind of calms his mood down a little bit, he will take basically and, and just smear enough under the eyes to kind of almost like what you see uh, sports, sportsmen use. Right, right. The lines under the eyes. 
um, right. and then, then just pass it on from there. Mm. Basically, in that and way, it's not going to be that he's not taking part, but not enough that it's like everywhere. Got it. And then mm. passes on to Gull. And Gull takes like a pushes his hand into the ink and like splatters it onto his face like a like a handprint. Awesome. And then pass, Gold, passes it off. off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. <gasps> <gasps> There's like something that. very similar to uh, this in um, orc culture, except instead of mud, it's blood. Yeah, yeah. probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're a little bit more, more, more like, you know, friendly here. Yeah. Bogart still just has a very confused look on his yeah. face of like, the, the <laughs> what is happening? going on? Yeah, and while uh, Gaul is doing the thing with the face, he said, and then there was a coin. And this might be hard to believe, but the coin was no ordinary coin. It was actually the hiding place of a little blue man. And when you rub it, you said things, and he made them true. And then he would tell the story about the Lion King. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you sure Uncle so Figgy didn't tell you that story? You. Yeah. So this is gonna take hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. This is, I mean, this is not something like, this is not a, a small conference meeting. This is like, oh, this is going to take at least a day. <laughs> yep. Yeah. We, we have less than a day. Yeah, I mean, I will try to hurry. And after the Lion King thing, he will tell them about uh, the the uh, the Count Val, the storm giant in the under the sea, and how it turned out to be a dragon, who turned out to not be a dragon but actually a monster in disguise, and the black hole that tried to swallow them whole, and how they escaped, and how they made them uh, made it back to. Falkirk again, and then back to uh, Orinal and Selendrai, and about the shit. Hang on, I have more of my windows here in my, in my nose. Oh, the rabbit, uh, the rabbit's foot from the overturned carts, the the ring of keys from the town where Bogart uh, was captured. Uh, I thought you gave those back. I never did that. You said I did. I never did. <laughs> and without thinking about it, well, without, without thinking about the fact that there's paint on his hand, Bogard face palms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he tells uh, him about uh, the uh, tells him that about the day he died, about when the fire uh, the fought. Uh, the giant, or the giant orc, and how uh, he tried to protect everyone that he hold, held dear, but he it didn't. It wasn't enough, and he died. But with the power of a stick and an old man, he lived, and he has to stick with him still. At which point, Sindric looks extremely pissed off. <laughs> yeah. And then he would tell them about how. They went down to a cellar and found a portal to another world which had skies and flew in those skies and how ships didn't run on water but on air and how one of those ships had uh, uh, had an elf who gave, uh, who gave him these fruit seeds. Uh, who he said is from another world, but he does not know if it, they are or what they are of. He just know that, uh, according to this elf, they are not of this world, and we should expect them to not be so. And he then tells about how he met this other elf being in the greatest and most beautiful woods that he has ever seen and uh, how he we helped Bogart to find purpose in life and he helped uh, Rava to with a purple tulip or not help but gave him 
uh, purple tulip to prove that he has had been there and uh, that he, he was uh, tasked to plant it here so that uh, these woods would also know the beauty of that uh, world. And the other is, is just nodding as, as you yeah. you speak. And then, of course, he would tell the story about the the, the blue uh, the blue ever ever burning torch, about the killing shadows and the bones of the space whale, whales that fly in the, in the blackness of space and the, the the yell that apparently was stripped from a giant goo world and. Uh, the ball from uh, the noble elf maiden who was the envy of all and he will tell like a Disney story to all of these amazing yeah. got it so after everything is done and this is taken the better half of six hours mm-hmm the elder just nods and says, the ancestor spirits have listened and they have deemed that your journey is a fruitful one. We will spread this knowledge to all of the ancestors and then we will spread it to our children and to their children and so forth you have added to the knowledge of all of our people and for that i thank you rava and he bows well rava will try to bow, uh, bow deeper <laughs> you have gone very far to places which we have never seen to places that we can only dream about. You have ascended to an utmost place which we as a people do not understand. On this day, you are truly and utterly more than Venaren. You are a mystic. And he blows the smoke into your face and you feel as if you are colliding against the world as it is. And suddenly you go into a free fall, a psychedelic trip, which you have never ever experienced before. You feel as if you are one with the world and one with the ancestors. You feel as if you are, you are a spirit yourself, that your body is not entirely the makeup of your whole, that there is also a spirit, there is a soul, there is a mind, and there is a body, that you can control that soul, and you can control the body and the spirit all at once, and you can put it out towards the area towards the world and control the world using your spirit, using your soul. And you blink and you see after this, which what feels like a lifetime. And you feel yourself tingling with a power that you can never fully grasp. Uh, so, f as part of this, you gain a level in Mystic, and you are <laughs> able to take levels in Mystic from now on, and you get to switch just like Bogart. Awesome. Uh, you also get to basically choose what kind of Mystic you are, whether it be uh, Main Dodo Dragon, or Mystic, or... Um, the other one, I can't remember. But you can be a main Dodo Dragon. The Seer, yes. Yeah, Balafoya. Yeah, Balafoya. Psychic. 
Psionic, oh. yeah. Bleh. Cool. And, uh... <laughs> after, like, waking up from this, like, oh, th thank you, elders. This, uh, this has been my purpose in life up to now, and I hope I have made our clan's knowledge better for it. But now, usually we stay after this, but I can't, because my friends here, we are, we know now about a threat to all of us, not just us, but the whole, the whole world, and I need to help them, because they know how to fight this thing. I, I don't, so I need to help them. He puts his hand up. It. I understand. It is beyond us to believe one such as yourself. So close with the ancients, so close with the ancestor spirits. Go, find your path. And then, when you are finished, come so that you may guide us with more of your experiences. Yes. And he bows. Bows again. Low. <laughs> like, uh, Rava has, like, his forehead in the sand or the grass beneath, like, that's how low he's bowing. And he says, thank you, and sorry, but I need to go now. But it's, it has been great. He nods slowly. Go with the ancestors. And as he leaves, because I'm assuming that uh, um, Tinva is, uh, it was with, the, with them in the tent. Yes. Yes. So he, he would kind of like grab him, like, like if you could come with, and then he would give him the shit. What's the name of it? Shit, 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 shit. Uh, the, um, not the smoke. The 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 the, uh, the uh, endless water thingy. The the canter the of, canter endless, of water. endless water. Yeah. He, he he would give it to him and say, here. For whenever uh, trees don't get enough water, you can use this, because this way we will never have any drought ever again. So make sure you keep this very safe and you make sure to use it whenever we need it, right? I trust you. Thank you, Rava. Thank you. And he looks at you with a sort of reverence, almost, as if... What you were just given is not given to everybody, as if this is just like a small part of what what is going on. And I don't think Rava truly understands the honor that was given to him, but mm -hmm. Tinva does, and Tinva just is speechless, basically. Yeah. And you see as all of the people around you are stopping and looking at you with with a look of utter like disbelief and and just reverence basically. Yeah, just just yeah. straight reverence. Can we tell that something changed? You see something about Rava that's yeah. that's different. You can feel something different with Rava. Yeah, I, There's more I, wisdom I, to him. Uh, as this is happening, and he just gave the decanter, and like he kind of realizes something is weird. He kind of like leans into, goes over to Bogart, kind of leans in, like, okay, we can go now. People are acting weird. All right, I get up and I say, all right, guys, it's time to go. Yeah. Right. So. Uh, we head back. Of the tent. And as I step outside, I immediately shift back into my uh, dragon. Yeah, there you are, buddy. We and you. 
tell you. Thank you, both of you, or all of you, to do this. Appreciate it. You look different. Yeah, I have paint on my face, Bogart. You really should have noticed. You also have paint on your face, so. It's not <laughs> what I meant. Bravo. Damn works. Cool pictures is back in this. Shall we go now? Yeah. By the way, that entire time you could definitely feel a presence of something. Like there was something greater than you nearby and watching and listening and and just feeling and you, you could see the smoke changing with figures and things like that um, as he was speaking and you know it was it was a very spiritual um, uh, feeling and only, spiritual event only a good thing that Robert was wrong about us each having a chance to speak <laughs> Yeah. Well, it was up to you to speak. Oh, we got a chance to speak? Yeah. Oh. oh, oh okay. Too late! <laughs> Too late! <laughs> Too late! Guys, it was a beautiful moment. Let's not ruin it. Let's move on. Cynthia <laughs> yeah. would have probably tried this out. Nope. <laughs> as long as they were all friendly, it wouldn't have harmed it. Uh, no, no, never happened. Well, you didn't say it at the time, so uh, it didn't I, happen. I was, I, I was thinking <laughs> that we would be asked to speak at some point. You can't yeah. talk while you're in Gash's form, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> so the second he starts to go off like that, Gash's form. <laughs> okay, uh, so. It, it's a we're, we're, we're moving Damn on. Damn it. Moving on. Yeah, off we go. Yes. Yeah, we'll move on. It's fine. We, that's we, not could have, we could have completely crushed Bravo's village's dreams. Yeah, you that's not... You didn't ask us hey. yeah. yeah. That's great. That's true. Unless somebody was like, do you want to speak? It yeah, wouldn't exactly. have clicked. That's... Yeah, unless the awful... It's a free fucking happen. country. Yeah, but it's also a, a ceremony, which we have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would not. I would not during somebody's ancient talking to spirits, magic, floaty gas. Just decide that. Oh, it's my turn to get up and talk. Listen to me. <laughs> so not a conclusion. At least that Bogart would jump to. Yeah. Shit, guys. I don't even know what to do now. Well, I don't have any mementos more to carry or to collect. Shit. Well, you can choose. You can choose mind dragon now. You could be a mind dragon. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. It means like purpose going forward. Yeah. Like, purpose. Oh, that, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. as you as you say that, as we're getting ready to go, I kind of pat you on the back and I say, well, now you can take it upon yourself to stop the invaders that are trying to hurt your people and protect them from threats that they don't even know are there. You're right. They don't know any better. You can be a, a silent protector. Oh, I won't be silent. Sis on the silent. <laughs> <laughs> Bogart, that won't ever happen. But I can be a protector. Dark gods look around every corner. We'll, we'll always be protected. And I have you guys, so they're also going to, be, going to be fine. Yes. Since it doesn't go into the that all gods are dark gods. There are also syndicates and evil bandits and, and like the people that we killed in the town that are more mm. real tangible threats that that are threats too that can be taken care of. But let's get back. We need to get back to the ship yeah, because I think that uh, we are well beyond the uh, what do you call it? Sleeping time? Would you like to uh, cast that on me again? Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll cast it. Uh, in its ability, intelligence. Uh, 
All right. You just you just need the option of doing better yeah, to to better. Yeah. The second you roll without it, though, it'll be like a two. <laughs> yeah. All right. So where are you guys going again? Back to the, the ship. Back to the ship. All right. So you go back to the ship, and uh, you arrive straight on the ship. No, no city, no nothing. Just, sh just right on the ship. Obviously, the ship is still in the city, um, and it's just as you, as you uh, expected, to arrive to. Um, there are a number of people still guarding the ship, um, which turn around and nod to you, all of you as soon as you arrive. I am. As for a report of what's been going on, how things are going, the repairs and whatnot. <coughs> uh, they say that the repairs have been going well. Uh, the installation is finished, in, uh, will be finished, rather, in uh, a few more hours. Fantastic. It's just enough time for us to get a couple hours sleep. Good job. I will he nods. Very well. They will do so. Uh, so you guys just wait. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, at this point, oh shit, yeah, you're right. Rava would try to cook some food for everyone. Very good point. Thank you, Casey. That's a very good so idea. I let Rava think that he's cooking as he helps no. me. No, 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 no. I he would insist of of all of you guys just waiting at the at the at the dinner table, and he will try to make food for all of you using your caravan and supplies. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Yeah yeah you yeah! Come on, come on! The kitchen. Yes, come on, come on, come on! And I can do it. Kitchen, I've no. seen you do it. I can the do it. Kitchen. I, can do it. I didn't bring the caravan with me. Nah. Okay, I can use the kitchen. Yes. All right. You use yes. You can use yes. the kitchen all you yes. want. Yes. Just not yes. the caravan. Yes. All right. All right. Guys, it's gonna be great. Just, All right, just wait. No um, cooking, which you don't have proficiency with. I do not. <laughs> As I sit down at the table with the Ghoul and Cendric, I'm just gonna be like, yeah, I don't want him to use the to to break the, the caravan. I just I really think that he'll break the caravan. What what kind of uh, int. ability? Int. Seems about I'll see right. you cook, and uh, everything is burnt if you use the flames. Yeah. yeah. Everything is uh, pretty much it, destroyed. It, he, he will make like burnt uh, meat for Sindrik, and burnt meat for Gull, and burnt meat for uh, uh, Bogart. <sighs> and then. And he will be very cream. happy about it. Yeah, no, no. And, and then he will like have fruit, like a side dish to each meat, burnt meat. And, and, and Very nice. <laughs> no, that's in my bag. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, that's in the chiller with the fruit. Yeah. Yeah. Which, if I had had the opportunity, I was going to slip that into whatever they were cooking, into that stag. But I didn't have the opportunity. So, uh, yeah. yeah, you get so, burnt meat. Um, uh, Rava. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Would you like me to teach you how to cook sometime? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I know that I'm already pretty good at it, but I'm sure everyone can get better at stuff. Now, please sit up. Thank you very much for staying with me. Yeah. Yeah. Ghoul looks like so <laughs> uneasy looking at this thing. Like, mm -hmm. I, I kind of 
take a, a dagger and I start chopping off the blackened parts. Uh, like, because I uh, imagine that it just looks like, like the meat just looks like one big black hunk of, of black charred up meat. Yeah, h- how about this? There's like uh, a second that uh, he sees that like everyone is like at least doing something to food. He goes, yeah, and he goes back into the kitchen, so if you guys want to throw shit away, now his back is turned in, in the kitchen, uh, kitchen and we'll never know. No, Rava, <laughs> come sit back down. Don't don't go back into the kitchen. Oh, no, no, I'm making dessert. D- dessert? Oh, no. It's gonna be just as great at, as the main food. I promise yeah, you. I, I eat the food. <laughs> Uh, I, I figure at least Cindric is probably used to eating burnt meat because yeah. if, if, as a dragon, you would actually fire breath and go to eat it, it's going to be yeah, fairly burnt. It's pretty burnt usually. So, so you know, Cindric's okay with. And a fifteen might be a little bit better, and that's basically some mashed fruit. I didn't yeah. know thingy. that you could burn meat all the way to the core. Oh, I really tried because oh, I thought actually, dragons like. Yeah. It's quite easy to burn. <laughs> I didn't know Bowman's burnt on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, that's how you guys like meat, right? Like, no. Prepared? I will teach you, Rava. Oh. Don't worry. I will teach you, but. But the fruit, but no. he, he gets right on the money. He gets it nice and. Go uh, eat the fruit. fruit. How do you mess up that. mashing fruit? <laughs> Come on now. If you I found a way. I did, I didn't that's mess why that. I said he gets it right on the money. <laughs> I, didn't, you, I didn't get it right. No. I thought that you were supposed to add the dirt for flavor. Cindric's not really interested in the mashed fruit. Yeah. It's alright. He knows. Like, okay. Thank you, guys. He's never interested. Now, now we can go fight the uh, giant uh, dragon. No, gi- talk dragon to. giant. Talk to. Talk oh. to. Talk to. Talk to. Talk to. Oh, okay. And, and then sure. Then and he. Fight. And possibly yeah. fight, yes. Yeah, he winks like, we'll talk. Uh, wink, wink. No, 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 no. no. I, oh, I understand. No. Like, just like we were going to go talk, wink, wink, to the giant orc. I, I understand. We understand each other. What giant orc? Oh, that guy, yeah. That killed me. We did me. talk to him. We did yes, talk we did. to him. And then we, we did. And, and then he killed me. <laughs> yeah, then he killed me. <laughs> yeah, so... Eat, go to sleep, 